Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. This is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe of Living Streams International, bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. Living Streams International, we meet at the Life Cathedral behind the Trade Fair, behind Zenith College on Sundays in the morning and Wednesdays in the evening um, for our evening services. This morning, I'd like to bring a, a solemn thought. And that solemn thought is on uh, something that just struck me, Party for Adversity. That's my title, Party for Adversity. I know where your thoughts are going to be running. No, that's not where I'm thinking. You know, in, the, in Luke chapter 15, in the story of the prodigal son, there are major players in that whole game, in that whole milieu of events. Uh, but one of them that is very, very important for me is the prodigal son's elder brother. Now, Everybody, Luke 15, looks at the prodigal son, and he sometimes remains the main figure. But there's also the role, the personality of the father and his role, and we'll cover that in another way. But there is also the son. In Luke 15, 29, we see something that is more like a cry. You know, when the prodigal son came back home, the Bible said the Father made a big splash for him, made a party, you know, party. Made a very big party for the, the son, a big celebration. Then the elder brother went to the father and said to him, Dad, I have been with you all throughout the years. I have stood by you all throughout the years. And especially when this son of this brother of mine went out and took us through a whole lot of things I have stood with you. Yet never once have you ever done a party in my honor. I do not feel celebrated. I do not feel appreciated. Now, people will say, and everybody was, I mean, the father, people will say, oh, the elder brother, and begin to say things. No, 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 wait a minute. That young man was saying something. People don't know this. The pain of the departure was not only felt by the, by the father. No, not at all. He also had friends, and his friends would take note of the fact that his junior brother had left. And the questions and all the things and all the, the accusations and everything that would be leveled at his father, his father's administrative abilities, his father's uh, perceptions, his father's positions, his father's postures, his father's personality, his father's character, and all those things, that elder brother will walk out into the arena and he'll, he'll face the storm and he'll be showered with those same arrows, questioning the integrity of his father. And he's going to go through a painful process of watching his father being torn to pieces by the actions of his junior brother. Well, he was also going to go through a painful process and people forget that. The fact that he stayed in the, in the house and he had to be answering people. Sometimes he has to answer people that the father was not answering. So he bore a big brunt of the pain. So now, he was saying something to his father. It was not just your war. It was also my war. And I don't feel appreciated. Now what he was saying is that, listen, you've never done a party for me. Sometimes, in a midst of adversity, those who stand with us, and those who stand by us, sometimes we ignore them when the, when the war is over. And sometimes we forget them. We forget that they stood with us. We forget that they are with us through the war. You know one thing? And sometimes they see what happens. They see what happens. What he was saying is, I have never had a party on my behalf for everything. I've never had applause. I've never had approval. I've never had a handshake. I've never seen you say, son, you're doing good. Keep going. And so he was making a gentle plea that those who stand by us 
in the midst of adversity. We must learn to make it, do a party for them when the adversity is over. We must find a way to let them know that we appreciate their loyalty and the fact that they stood by us. We need to let them know. So that little or that young man was asking a question. Please, my party for standing with you in adversity. And that's the question. Learn to appreciate those who stood by you in the midst of your adversity. Find a way and let them know you appreciate them. Party for adversity. See you later.